All right. Hi, everyone. I am here with, okay, I'm going to get the name, Jessie Inchespe, and sure. she is also known as Glucose Goddess on Instagram. And Jessie, I am so excited for you to be here. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, thanks for having me, Daniel. This is super fun. Uh, where to begin? Okay. Well, let's see. I'm French. Mm -hmm. I am a uh, trained in math and biochemistry Ooh. and I came to the U.S. seven years ago to essentially start out uh, a career in health and mm -hmm. so I was in Philly, I was in D.C., I went to grad school uh, at Georgetown and then I've been in San Francisco for the past five years working uh, in Silicon Valley so I was actually at 23andMe uh, for about four years on the product team wow. and recently I left 23andMe and started my glucose goddess venture full-time. Ooh. Yes. So right now I'm glucose goddess on Instagram and I am trying to educate essentially any curious person about what blood sugar means, why you should care and why you should try to manage it. Awesome. And I'm sure by her introduction, it's pretty obvious why I have her on the podcast, but if you don't <laughs> follow her on Instagram, I, or if you are, have your phone in your hand, please go and follow her on Instagram right now. She has the coolest page and it would also be helpful for you to know even what we're talking about with the blood sugar graphs when we start talking about that. But mm -hmm. Jesse, why don't you answer for us? Why is knowing about your blood sugar important? Why is this something that you want people to understand about themselves? What a great question, Danielle. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Sure. Um, okay. So I kind of separate out, um, the importance of blood sugar into two categories. Mm -hmm. So you have one category, which is about long-term health. So elevated dysregulated blood sugars over a lifetime can lead to diseases such as type two diabetes can increase your risk of heart disease of dementia and just generally deteriorate your health um, as you age. So that's one long-term thing. You should care about your blood sugar levels to prevent diseases as you age. The second thing, which is actually something that people usually um, find more motivating mm -hmm. is that glucose levels can impact you today and they will yes. impact you tomorrow and they can impact you very, very soon. And so they can impact you in multiple ways. They can make you hungry. They can make you have cravings. They can lead to weight gain if they're too high for too long. They can lead to poor skin. They can lead to poor sleep. They can lead to fatigue. They can lead to mood swings. I mean, the list kind of goes on and on. Yeah. It's one of those things in your body that not only do you control almost entirely by what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but they actually control you too. Yeah. It's this weird back and forth system. So you control your glucose levels or your blood sugar levels with what you eat, um, with what kind of exercise you do, with what you drink, with how much you sleep, with how much stress you expose yourself to. And then in return, they impact you. So if your glucose levels are super high, you might feel a sugar rush. You might feel really agitated. Mm -hmm. um, you might feel, you know, a lot of interesting emotions. You might be putting on weight. Your body might go into this mode where um, it's trying to fight the high glucose levels and might become inflamed. Mm -hmm. Then as your glucose levels decrease, if they ever get too low, mm -hmm. that's when you can experience things um, like cravings and fatigue. So anyway, it's a fascinating thing to track in your body. So not only long-term health reasons, but also just short-term reasons and vanity reasons, really. And just a really cool thing to know about. <laughs> Does oh that answer goodness. the question? Yes, it answers the question cool. amazingly. And I love that answer because that is, you talked about so many of the things that I've already covered in this show that blood sugar affects every aspect of our, hu our human physiology. So it impacts every single cell in our body, which is why the symptoms of issues with blood sugar, they're so broad. And so it could be general fatigue, which is something in your whole body, or it could be a mood thing in your brain, or it can affect your skin, or it can affect your heart. And it can affect, mm -hmm. like you can ch choose an organ and you can be like, oh yeah, uh-huh. Blood sugar affects that too, mm -hmm. because it's every single cell, every single blood vessel in our body. And a lot of people are not motivated to change by those long-term factors, you know, for oh, preventative yeah. health. Tell me about it. Yeah. And I